Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Marvel Future Revolution video. Is it time to calm down or is it time to continue rage? So we've got some stuff early on in the game. We had a patch recently, our first content uh, update followed with multiple patches after that. And we've got some developer notes that I wanna talk about a little bit and see, I'm gonna share my feelings, my raw feelings, uh, you know, my initial thoughts, you know, and also share what I think some other people are kind of thinking too. There's a lot of different views on where we're at with the game right now. You know, you could have some folks being really happy, some folks that are being mad and about to quit or already quit. Uh, that seems to be the nature of most games like this from what my experience has been. But we're gonna look at it, talk about it. I'd love to hear from you, whether it's on the Discord or in the comments below. Discord link in the, in the description below. Uh, if you wanna follow along for future content, hammer down like button, notification bell, and subscribe. And we love you. We'll love you regardless. But anyway, let's check this out. Okay, so we've got these developer notes that came on through here. Uh, we're going to go through uh, this a little bit because it's, it helps guide this discussion. The high arching points are basically that, uh, you know, people were looking for content. Some people weren't necessarily, they were still develop, uh, building the game up, but they were looking for more ways to develop their characters, etc. And what we got was, we got... A new zone which was great we got a new blitz um we got a new level cap and some other changes in there as well and but it came with a lot of issues i did the good bad and the ugly of that go check out that video if you haven't seen it i cover most of that stuff there so i don't really want to deep dive into all that but i do want to go through what they've got here so and generally their approach and again how i initially took this i'm also going to try to play both sides of the fence here uh and i'd like to hear from you guys a little bit on where you're at with this so uh hopefully we can come to you know regardless of whether we agree or disagree on the approach of the game we can at least have a conversation about it so it says today would they like to start off by apologizing that they were eagerly looking forward to this update they hope to provide us with some best uh, some some best gaming environment by gathering information through various channels and listening to voices. They tried their best to improve them, the improvements up to the last minute. However, they encountered an unexpected errors and caused us some inconvenience, and they just basically apologized. Uh, I, and then it says, we are uh, thoroughly reviewing the feedback from each and every one. We should share a summary. We would like to share their summary of their plans with us. So this is basically what they're planning. So I would like to say that I, I at least far, start off on basically appreciating the apology. They're basically saying we screwed up. So I like the tone of that. Um, I think it's good, you know, PR on their, their end because it, it, I know for me, it softened me. It's like, okay, all right, you're at least apologizing, recognizing that you did something wrong uh, or had a hiccup, whether it's wrong or right, whatever. Maybe it's not wrong, but it's it, there's definitely a hiccup there. The first one they talked about the blitz, blitz reward count changed the to five total. Some of the some of the griefing that people complaining, including myself, with this one was um, we don't get as many convergium from that and even gold from this. And you are how are you going to finish your collections on those level twenties through you know eighty or ninety blitzes if you're going to be focused on the five at the top? You're never going to finish those. So that was the biggest problem in my mind. The other part that was great was we less time the, I, all day long. Love it. So they said the purpose of the patch was to shorten gameplay, which they mentioned, so that we could uh, do other content. Again, very much appreciate it, but it led to unintended things. The, in conjunction with the Blitz War account being changed to five, we're currently seeking ways to improve sub-character growth. I don't necessarily care about that one as much, honestly, um, even though that matters to me, but it, to me, it's not necessarily related to Blitz because uh, sub-character is an alt to me. Collection achievement, so I mentioned that, so they know that, and then the gold and converging particles. So those are the two things that I was most worried about that they're saying that they're at least looking how to improve this. Now, again, I'm used to some of these games, they just do talk, 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 show me something, but at least they're initially saying they're going to do something. A lot of the other places I've played, it's you got to pull it out of them to get them to even say that. So I do like that they're saying this up front. Uh, in addition, we are reviewing all available options, including rest uh, restoring the previous blitz reward count system, three per blitz. So they're they're considering that. We would do our best to find a solution as soon as possible. So they're probably doing all sorts of metrics, running uh, different scenarios to figure out, okay, if we do five a day at the top, maybe we let everyone do up to three today on the bottom and they can still collect badges if they want, but it's not... 
you know, you don't get maybe boxes from it, but you can do it for, if you want to farm additional uh, badges, gold, and convergium, you can do that if you want, but that's all you get for it. So I could see something and maybe no squattering. I don't know. That's probably what they're looking at. So I like seeing that. Uh, so far, I'm content with what they're seeing there. Dark zone reconfiguration and XP. A lot of drama with this as well. Um, one, it was you couldn't even get in a dark zone in some, and you, I lost a day. That was my biggest frustration. Set me back for experiencing levels and points and cards. So, hey, how about some compensation for that? I'd like that. Uh, we believe that a lot of our... Uh, we're all fans of the Marvel Universe. That's great. One of their primary goals is to inform players on the vast Marvel Universe and provide enjoyable experiments through Dimex stories. However, due to the need to collaboration between various departments, along with the current state of the world, constructing and developing a high fidelity world uh, within the game, it's taking more time than expected. So what I'm getting from this so far is um they want to make cool stuff but a lot of stuff's going on and it's taking longer than they thought so we're not as far as we thought we would be but we had a deadline to get something done that's what i'm reading between the lines there we put a lot of thought in, in, in ensuring both a streamlined development for our game and a satisfactory sense of growth for our players we ultimately decided that dark domain alone did not provide sufficient opportunities for leveling up as an alternative we allowed for uh, XP acquisition in the dark zone, but many agents have spoken up on in the inconvenience of loving through this new method. We deeply regret not thinking about this more. So basically, I think they realized like, shoot, we're not as far as we'd like to be at this point, and you can't get as far as you need to. So what are we going to do? What is a quick fix? I know. Let's make it so you can get XP in the dark zone. So I think it was kind of a hot fix they thought about, just saying get get something out there, and it just they just I, I get it, but it was like. I, I, it was probably one of those last minute decisions or just like screw it we gotta go that's the decision and didn't necessarily have time to think it through the development team is uh considering expanding ways to earn xp which is currently limited to dark zone also increasing the number of dark zone non-pvp channels so you'll get more of those for anybody who's been trying to get in there we ask for your patience regarding this improvement as this change would require delicate fixes to various game in-game reward balances this one i could see taking a while so i would definitely wear your patience pants on that one cue uh the uh, copyright on that thank you very much meanwhile uh we will like to expand we will expand the BVP disabled channels right away to take care of uh, related inconveniences. So, two. So, dark zone channels were modified for a total of two PVP channels and three PVP disabled channels. So, they've added two more PVP disabled channels. So, anybody who's looking for that should be uh, super super happy. Hero balance. Uh, okay, so this one. The biggest summation is it takes time. There's stuff they want to do. Uh, they know things are broken and they specifically mentioned Captain America, Storm and Star-Lord, which I think are the three biggest characters that need or the three characters that need the biggest improvement. They talked about there's working on balance adjustments by collecting the feedback. They're, uh, they're aware that s simply tweaking a few effects of numbers won't fix problems. And they're looking at revamping fundamentals uh, to, in the combat system to fix their balance issues, which is okay. They're also talking about the improvement of target off related skills. Uh, I think that's the I their term for iframe, uh, spin blade and spider swing skills uh, and Nyanat plasma as the most significant aspect of the issues. So for all you Iron Man, I hope they fix this so you can stop getting around and just having all these, you know, be so dominant. Black Widow needs a buff. Thank you very much. Uh, we see this as the riskiest issue, the, and, and, and they're right. They are very right because PvP will drive people, and people will get frustrated if they make a character and get super strong, and all of a sudden they're not as good. Um, but it should be good for the right reasons, not because, you know, they're invincible in certain stages, etc. And several solutions are being discussed with Dylan Payne. They're not going to leave the issue as is. We'll let you know once we can lay out a, a concrete solution. Again, they're asking for understanding. In addition, improvements to each hero will be carried out one by one. However, since we are simultaneously working on several areas, we are prioritizing the improvement of certain heroes. We are currently working on Captain America, the three I mentioned, Captain America, Storm, and Star-Lord. And so below here, they talk about this. Captain America, they want to de uh, decrease the delays of motion the short-range skills. Great. Uh, improve the uh, instantly stick the enemy. Improve the movement tracking function to prevent skill fails. Storm, you really want to get more of an AoE damage from her to improve her AoE output. Decrease the skill delays and motions. I agree. And adjust AoE radiuses. Improve skill performance. I agree. Star Lord, decrease skill delays and motions and improve skill performance. Agree. And they also have in red, we are reviewing various uh, various other issues along, besides the ones above. But I think for sure those three characters by far need the most improvement. When a Captain America can't even really do a spec ops well, 
that's a problem. I mean, I get that you might want to have a character for certain mode a little bit, but come on. All right, various other glitches. Uh, we're in the process of fixing numerous glitches in the current build, receiving various opinions, plan to roll out a patch to fix these issues, working on improvements, preparing for the next update, continue to contemplate on how to provide experience, blah, blah, blah. And there's nothing really there to me. Uh, expansion of costumes and Omega cards utilities. All right, so dynamic, whatever, you take that word and run with it. Uh, uh, upgrade here. Having to spend a lot of different effort, a lot of effort and currency on costumes and Omega cards just to repeat that process every time you are a new hero is not the direction the development team wants to, uh, wants either. Okay. Like, that is uh, not what I thought because it's like, you clearly need to pick a character and go with it because it takes so long to build up that character that you're never going to want to build up another one because you're never going to build up the one that you're maining. So to me, it was like these other... Your, the rest of your squad is just kind of there to help build your main person up more. Thus, we are thinking of adding a feature to convert costumes and Omega cards. We plan to allow players to convert the costumes or Omega cards of your main hero into costumes or Omega cards of other heroes. So I think that might have to do with exclusive stats. I like that. Now, I still am concerned. It's like, well, even with those exclusive stats, well, it's great to roll on other characters. Um... I still have a long climb for a lot of stuff in the game. So they do have to balance that a little bit. I don't want everything right away. Don't everything. I want even think everything in three months, but um, there needs to be something there. So I do like that. This has been called out for uh, for quite some time now. Costume nano fusion option changes. As of now, you, the options can't be changed. Many of their agents have spoke on this and they're planning to improve that system to allow changing options of nano fused costumes. So we would like to apply for not adding this feature in this room. So the fact that they're apologizing for not adding that to this feature shows me that they're at least working on it and trying it. And that will help a lot because I know for me, I keep rolling and rolling and rolling on a costume, uh, specifically a chest to try to get a certain amount of accuracy on it before I nano it. Because I know once I nano it, I can't do anything with it. So I'm trying to get the perfect roll to it before I nano. So I like that they're even thinking about that. Okay, this part here. If you remember anything in this video, you might want to consider hoarding your badges. Okay, especially your four, five star ones. You shouldn't be getting rid of your six star ones anyway. But your four and five star ones, I would recommend putting on your alts bank. Okay, put them in there, store them because of this item here. Now, I don't know how long it could take. It could be a year. That means you need to start getting rid of some of them. This is what they say. They're currently reviewing and considering a suggestion for improvement related to the acquisition of battle badges through Blitz and Mega War and Dark Zone. We are aware that it's difficult to obtain high-grade up high grade battle badges such as six. Not only six, but six with the right stats. Thus, we would like to add a way to craft and obtain high-level battle badges. Okay. Problem, solution. Let's see if how much that solution costs and how hard it is, right? That's the key to these things. We are thinking of adding a system where agents can use lower grade badges as materials to craft higher grade badges. Similar to everything else you got in the game. You got a bunch of two stars, you get a three star. A bunch of three stars, you get a four star. Looks like they're going to do that with the badges as well. So you might want to consider keeping those. Some people are already saying, well, what about refunding all the ones that I got? Now they're going to, the devs are probably going to say, well, wait a minute, but you got something out of that. Well, I might not have done that. I would have upgraded it. So uh, that's a balance net marble's got to figure out. If I was net marble, I would just send out a bunch of compensation for badges. I'd probably give people several hundred badges to be able to uh, to grind into stuff just as a, hey, look, I know we changed this. It was hard. You know, here's a certain amount of badges that make sense that won't break the economy. This concludes, okay. Uh, and then this concludes their explanation of the features that they prepared for the next update version. So that's when they're talking about doing this for the next update version. Don't know when it's gonna happen, but it's coming. Now, in addition to the above, they're uh, preparing numerous other improvements that will, they'll inform the agents in the detail in a separate notes. However, each issue will be updated at different timings depending on the nature. They're also, they also apologize one more time for the great disappointment related to the bundle package being limited to 27. Again, I talked about in a different video. There's some legality issues there that they had to do that. But in the process of resolving the issue quickly, they did, not, they did not put consideration to everyone's perspective and moved hastily. From here on out, not only not only will we act quickly, but we'll do it with deep contemplation. So I got to appreciate that. So put that, everyone remember that one. Remember that one. So that way, if it doesn't happen in the future, we're, hey, hey, you guys said this, not us. Uh, and then they, we have prepared a small gift to express our sincere apology. We've decided to change the five-star region costume selection box event from a limited time to a constant one. This is a gigantic, gigantic win in my mind. The compensation reward details from this reward is you get a costume draw five, uh, card draw five. I pre appreciate that. 
Um, and, and, and the, the people get this with Eros added prior to 10-2. It's basically anyone in the game at the moment. So what they did here, and I'll pull up the game for a second. What they did here, if you're not aware, is they brought back the, um, the actual, what, no, it's the, where is it? The, the Omega points. So these costumes for each spot, you can now get them whenever you want. They don't cycle and they're not gone. What they did is they removed these and then they brought them back. So um, I love this. It's already, it's still really expensive, but thank you for bringing it back at least. So, you know, cause I was like, right now I'm not going for regional at all. I'm still considering it. I might, but this is still pretty expensive to get. So I'm sitting tight, but I like that they're there. Thank you very much. I think that's a big win on the player's part. Uh, even if you're not a big spender, but you want to get that, uh, I like it. So that's what this whole section here is talking about, that they're just back uh, in the store. So, and then it says, lastly, we apologize uh, once more for any and all disappointment. So they're doing a lot of apologizing. And even if it may take some time, we will fix our all of our prevalent issues. And we will not forget the feedback that our players have provided. Please continue to give us your thoughts. So look, that was a lot. Um, I gave my thoughts along the way. Ultimately, is it time to calm down? Um, no, not necessarily because I like, I like that we, um, continue our voice, our opinions. That means we care. It means we're passionate about the game. Uh, I think there's a balance to that. We're not going to get everything we want, nor do I think we should. Should we get everything immediately? No, I don't think we should. Uh, should you get an advantage? Uh, you know, if you put money in the game? Yes. You know, do I like that sometimes that if I don't put as much money and I can still potentially compete? Sure. But I never expect to, you know, spend a hundred dollars to compete with somebody who spends a thousand dollars or somebody who spends ten thousand dollars and so on and so forth so um i do like that but i also like that they try to make it so that uh there is some rng so you do really need to spend a lot of money and you can still compete with some of those players if you get lucky or if you're a really skilled player so um yeah and i and again i get the rage from some people getting frustrated it's just like look this shouldn't have happened in the first place it shouldn't have uh, you know, and I, I don't know, maybe I've got a soft heart. Um, I screw up myself all the time. Just ask my wife or my kids or anybody who knows me. You know, it, it happens. We're human, right? That's what we do. So I try to show sympathy when I can and stuff like this. If I see a repetitive pattern, just like I would do with somebody I work with or I manage at work, if I see a repetitive pattern at work, I'm telling them like, look, this is your warning. I'm not warning you. If you don't improve, we will fire you. It's the same thing here. You know what I mean? So it's like, I, if I was a spender, I'm going to communicate like look this is what i feel if you keep not improving i'm going to stop my spending and it's up to you as a player to not do that right or not play so anyway that's why i got longer than i thought uh for a video but i wanted to put it out for you guys give you my thoughts feelings all that time things i love to hear what you guys think are you being sympathetic are you saying no i'm raging the need to fix is unacceptable comment below uh like i mentioned before we also have the discord link in the description below hammer down like button notification bell subscription button and until next time i hope you have a wonderful day